Hi Virgo, welcome to the Manifesting You YouTube channel. This is your Law of Attraction general energy for the month of July 2016. Please keep in mind this is a general energy surrounding Virgo, so it's not going to fit everyone perfectly. You can also check out your moon or your rising sign and for a personalized reading, check out my website for a special this month. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started with your reading. Okay, Virgo, so very interesting energy so far for the month of July. For your current desires, what your objective is in the month of July, we actually have the page of wands or rods, and this is represented by the foreigner. So I feel like Virgos are kind of feeling a little feisty this month. Um, I feel that they are, <laughs> they're tired of feeling like a doormat or self-sacrificing themselves to help other people. They're taking on a fire energy or desiring to. Um, I feel that you have a little fire in your belly and this is a masculine, this is an aggressive energy. Um, it's someone that does what they want to do and kind of acts now, thinks later. So maybe some of you are just tired of thinking and analyzing so freaking much and you're just ready to, to take action. You're ready just to do things. You're ready to experience life. This is also about meeting new people, branching out because it's a foreigner. It's, it's not necessarily, I feel that some of you wanna branch out of your current circle. You wanna meet new and different types of, ex, of people. So things that are gonna bring excitement and adventure. Um, I feel that you're feeling more confident this month or that you desire to and that you just wanna branch out. You want to shine, you want to be magnetic and be attractive and sexy and charming. And some of you also might be desiring communication because this also can represent messages coming in quickly uh, because it's a fire energy. This would be a swift message. So this could be a phone call, an email, a text. You could be communicating to others or you desire others to be communicating to you. So, Another thing that you could be desiring, Virgo, is just to have good news. You're just ready for some good news uh, relating to a relationship, a job. You just want some good news in your life. And this can also talk about having a short trip, you know, maybe going somewhere for the weekend, just, just changing the scenery around, doing something different, um, forming new contacts abroad. Some of you might be taking, you know, farther trips than just local or nearby, making new acquaint acquaintances and new friends. And this can also talk about studying and learning new skills, learning new knowledge. So it's a very active, it's an energetic, and it's a fiery energy. So I feel that for the month of July, this is what you're desiring. This is what's important to you. And I do feel that you're, many of you are more fearless this month. I just feel that a lot of you are tired of being held back and you're kind of wanting to go the opposite side. So if you've been like held down or feeling bad about yourself, you're like, screw this, like I'm over it. Um, I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna take action and you know, you're ready to get some attention or to, you know, to live life. Okay, so as far as what you're currently valuing or identifying within yourself, we have the King of Swords. And the King of Swords, this, is, this guy is a professor. So interesting, Virgo, I feel like a lot of you this month are leaning more towards your masculine or logical or rational side of your brain. So this is a single man um, he's very strict, he's very obedient to rules and to laws. And the thing about this man is that he has authority, okay? This guy knows his stuff. You don't wanna start up an argument with this person. So what I feel like, Virgo, is that 
people don't really want to mess with you this month <laughs> um you've done your homework you you your logic is so sharp and your wit is so spot on this month that people don't really want to get in an argument with you because you have the perfect answer for every question directed at you you also have an air of authority about you like i said i feel like you are you know who you are, Virgo, at this point, because this guy, he doesn't doubt himself. He doesn't question his thoughts. He knows he's done his work. He's a professor. Um, he's already made his accomplishments and he has a sense of authority. So because this is a sword, so some of you, this could apply in different ways. This is general energy, uh, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Some of you might be identifying with a sign. Some of you might be attracting this type of sign or of admiring or valuing um the attributes the positive attributes of the air signs because this is what i feel like you're valuing and want to identify with yourself this type of person you don't want to mess around with you don't want to get in a debate because you will lose and they have authority so this is like your virgo energy at its best i feel like this is that confident i mean if you if you combine the fire with the sword it's your confidence to match your mindset your mental and rational ego and capabilities are spot on are sharp you just don't want to be messed with this month virgo you've you've been through enough and you're over it <laughs> i also feel like you don't want unnecessary drama this month you don't you don't want to be muddled down with a lot of emotion this month and that would actually correlate with your obstacle or your challenge the challenge is we have the queen of cups and the queen of cups is kind of like the epitome of emotional nurturing so i just i feel again that you've been through a lot virgo and that this month for you is about balancing kind of going the other direction maybe you've given your heart You've given your emotions, you've given your nurturing so much and so long that you've been depleted and you're over it. And so now in order to rebalance out your energies, you're not really going to be pursuing this emotional side. And that can be good and bad, right? Because, you know, if you're very strongly in this rational mindset, you might miss out on some of those more loving connections this month. But I feel that for some of you, that's okay, that you kind of need to go to that other extreme to rebalance. Um, but obviously the universe is only going to allow you to do that so long because, you know, you have a heart and you have to connect with your heart as well. So the challenge might be like really getting in touch with your deepest nurturing emotions this month. Um, there just may not be a desire for it. You may be blocking that out or just not wanting to connect. Um, also because it's a cup sign, this could be, like I said, the Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer. So for some of you, there might be a sign that is a little bit challenging this month that you could be dealing with. It could be a female, it could be a mother for some of you or a motherly type person. Because once again, this energy, the queen of cups, she's very helpful to other people. She's always there to help when somebody needs something like she's an amazing friend. She's always there to listen. And I just feel like Virgo that you've done that so much. Like that's been your role your whole life and you're just tired of that role <laughs> that's what i feel like you're tired of the role and you just you don't want to be sensitive to everybody else you want to do your own thing right now you want to be kind of selfish and honestly i think a lot of you deserve that um so this month i just feel like you know your energy is about being you experiencing kind of your confident fiery side being right and just not having to mess with anyone's bs and just not having to give in to people's feelings and you know putting that on hold for the month okay so as far as the path or the strategy to take we actually have the page of pentacles so interesting you have two pages um in your reading and that represents messages so the page of pentacles represents a student it's a younger energy um, and so i feel like for some of you the universe is saying get in touch with your youth get in touch with you know the younger self the, the part of you that is free that is open that is excited about life that wants to learn new skills because this is all about learning it's about academics um, you have a lot of masculine energy around you virgo this month so uh, this is a masculine energy it's all about learning and you know possibly meditating this month 
uh, your intellectual work, whatever intellectual skills you've been developing, Virgo, I feel that you're meant to continue on with that track. I feel like that is the path to take for you. It's going to lead to fulfillment. And I feel like doing it with a youthful exuberance and a fresh outlook where you're excited. It's like where you, you know, you're going to study something new and it's a new class and you're super excited about this subject. You can't wait to learn about it. You have like an innocence about it. Um, so kind of having that fresh perspective. This can, for some of you, represent a male energy, um, someone with dark hair or eyes uh, that could be bringing you a message this month. So because it's a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, it could be a person that's actually bringing you a message. The other issue with this card is to be cautious to also, you know, which I feel like Virgo, you know how to do. But if you are feeling more fiery this month and kind of impulsive, the universe is just reminding you just still act with a little bit of caution. Make sure that you digest all the information that you're receiving. Make sure it resonates with you. Um, you know, just be cautious with any news or information that you receive from others this month. So I feel like for a lot of you in your adventures that you're experiencing this month, you may be out, you may be meeting new people, but you're also, you're also really about learning. You're learning new skills, you're studying, you're, even if it's just studying life or studying other people, um, you're in this kind of academic mindset and to also just continue to work hard as you have been. Uh, discipline is also very important this month. So to continue just to keep up your disciplines and just to experience nature, to experience animals, uh, you know, because it's an earth sign. So I feel like just Virgo, just being young at heart, like kind of getting past the bull crap, getting past just the responsibilities and just enjoying life from a fresh, youthful perspective about learning and being open, I feel like is really going to nurture your, your spirit this month. Okay, Virgo. So as far as the attitude to take with others, this is interesting. We have the devil. And so this kind of is a resonant uh, or a residual, if you want to say, of, of what you've been going through, Virgo. I know a lot of the readings I've done, the Virgo has, you know, they've been in some relationships that have been really painful and really difficult, not for all. Um, and so what this is saying is continue Virgo, continue cutting away. This isn't like the, I mean, it could be the devil energy, but it's more about contrasting in your life that you've been on this pro, um, this process of weeding out what works for you and what does not. And, you know, cause the Virgo is all about finding what is most useful in life and getting rid of the waste or you know what is no longer serving you so i feel like in regards to others you are still on this path you're still on this journey of clearing out those that do not serve your highest good or highest pur purpose and this month is another process for you to continue to clarify for yourself who is going to serve your highest and best self and who is taking away from it that's as plain as that and you know, when you see this card, it is, you know, for some of you, you could make a list if you want to bring more clarity. But when you have the devil card, you do have to acknowledge that there have been some things that have been dragging you down in regards to relationship. And that there's been times that you felt helpless over this. You felt helpless to change it. You know, it's almost been like a form of enslavement or addiction. I do feel a lot of you are coming out of this, but there is still some residual impact and there's still some clearing away that has to be done. The, the work is not over. Um, these relationships or just these attitudes towards relationships, even if you're not in this relationship anymore, you still might have an attitude that's enslaving you. Um, so you have the control, Virgo. You always have the control. You can walk away inside at any point. And so this month is going to be that continual process of finding out what is serving you and what is no longer serving you. And this could all be in your mind. This person may not be in your life anymore, but you know, you're a very mental cerebral sign. So a lot of this work is done in our own minds. 
and you know there's i feel this month for you too that there are kind of some extreme energies so you're trying to balance yourself you're trying to heal whatever this these issues have been and so there are some times where you're gonna go to extremes you know i feel that you're this month you're really going to the masculine this month you're like enough of negative emotions enough of you know negative energy i'm done with it and so you're really you're going, a lot of you are going towards the cerebral to the mental, to the rational, unemotional side. And that's okay um, because you're trying to find the balance. So I just feel that as you experience new things, new people, new situations this month, you're going to continue your journey of learning, but it's also going to make you aware of what is no longer serving you. And that as much as that process, it just, you know, you want it to be over, there's still some work left to do. So uh, let's recap before we get to the final. What you're currently desiring is adventure this month. We have the page of wands, uh, excitement, confidence, magneticism, uh, you know, stepping out, not thinking so much, uh, you know, just having new experiences, new adventures. As far as what you are identifying with or valuing, we have the king of swords. So you're really valuing someone that knows their stuff that you know has an answer to every question that is always right that people sense an air of authority don't want to mess with it could be you are attracted to aquarius gemini or libra this month as far as what might be the challenge we have the queen of cups so it could be a water sign or it could be just feeling deep nurturing feelings towards others you might just be burnt out this month and so it's going to be a challenge to get very emotional as far as the strategy or the path to take, we have the page of Pentacles. So this is about having a youthful spirit, about learning, wanting to be really open to what the universe is trying to tell you, um, but also being cautious and just making sure that everything you do resonates with your highest and best self. As far as the attitude to have with others, we have the devil. And so it's just really taking a firm stand, Virgo, about is this person um, or attitude or thought I'm having about this relationship, will it serve my highest purpose? Is it going to serve and help me get to where I want to go? If it's not, I'm going to work on cutting it out. If you do all these things, I have some great news for you. I, I feel like this will be very fulfilling for a lot of you. You have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a professional, but the beauty of this energy, Virgo, and this could be you or this could be you attracting a new person into your life. Um, it is a water sign, so it's the king of water signs, so a um, Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. But the beautiful energy about this is that it kind of combines, I think, what makes Virgos happy. It's hard work and positive emotion um, intertwined. And so this could be you. This could be your energy where you're really going to find that balance you're going to come to balance where you can do you can work hard for a cause or something that you truly believe in while having fulfilling emotions attached to it to me that's really the best of both worlds it's not like you're just going to be a working machine you actually care and you're connected to what you're doing um, your your cup is full you're helping humanity you're earning a good wage you're respected in the community and you know you have leadership you could also attract someone that really is going to support you and assist you in what you're doing, Virgo. Um, this could be a man for some of you that you would meet that is very full of love, that really wants a relationship, but is very ambitious and hardworking and determined and that they care about you. So I do feel like a lot of you are really clearing away the junk in your life and that is going to allow the universe to bless you with either your own energy being balanced or you're gonna attract someone that's very supportive of you, Virgo, that's going to appreciate how hard you work, what you do, is going to love you, and is very genuine. And so either way, if you work on your energies and just continue to manifest and be your highest and best self, you have great things coming to you. So I really hope this has helped. If it has, I would so appreciate for you to like and subscribe to this channel. That's going to make sure you get all the messages, the tips and tools on how to manifest and be your highest and best self. As always, Virgo, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.